Okay, here we are in the last section of this chapter where, again, we get the payoff for everything we've learned. And, again, I urge you to take all the time you need to do uh, as many of these problems as you can. Um, this is the reason for algebra. What you've been learning are tools, and here's uh, what you can make with those tools. Okay, so let's just uh, launch right in, and the question is, how do we take a fairly significant word problem, one that would be pretty complicated to try and figure out just by arithmetic techniques alone, and how would we uh, convert this into expressions and equations that we can solve uh, using algebra, that would simplify the problem using algebra? Okay, let's read the problem carefully. The potato peeling problem. Butch Er starts peeling potatoes at the rate of three potatoes per minute. Four minutes later, Janet joins him and peels at a rate of five potatoes per minute. Butch continues at the rate of three potatoes per minute. Define a variable. Now, first of all, uh, in many textbooks, they would take this and just ask you, um, how long would it take to peel so many potatoes? Or some question like that. Uh, this text is excellent in the fact that it's breaking it down, and the reason it's asking so many questions is it's leading you through the thinking process. So it's modeling how to approach the problem. And so if you take this to heart and actually see that these are the kind of questions you could uh, ask yourself about problems like this, uh, the goal is that you could learn to take a problem just like this and ask any question about it and be able to uh, work on it from there. Okay, so suggesting as you start, define a variable for the number of minutes Butch has been peeling. Since what we're looking for is the number of minutes, which is a time, I'm going to use t. I'll let's say t, and it says define, so is the time in minutes that Butch has been peeling potatoes, right? P-E-E-L-I-N-G, I believe, P-E. Okay. Write expressions for the number of minutes Janet has been peeling. Now, you might just say, well, if T can stand for how long Butch has been peeling, then let some other letter stand for how long Janet's been peeling. But the point is that we're trying to connect as much information to as few variables as possible. Uh, in later parts of this book, we're going to learn how to do uh, problems with several variables in them. But it makes things more complicated, and if we can actually express ourselves in terms of a single variable uh, as much as possible, it's going to make life a lot easier. Okay, So let's read the problem to see how much how long Janet has been peeling compared to how long Butch has been peeling. Butch er starts peeling potatoes at the rate of three potatoes per minute. Four minutes later, Janet joins him. Here's the key. All right, let's do a timeline. Here is when Butch started, and here's when Janet joined in, and here we are at some later time. So if Butch, the time Butch has been peeling is shown like this, the time Janet has been peeling is like this, and this is four minutes later. Okay, so it's less than Butch's peeling time by four minutes. So write expressions for the number of minutes Janet has been peeling, and so that's going to be t minus four. Okay, the number of potatoes Butch has peeled. Well, the number of potatoes he's peeled depends on the rate at which he's been peeling them, which is three potatoes per minute. So if he peels three potatoes each minute, then however minutes he's been peeling, each for each minute he adds another three potatoes, right? So it's going to be three potatoes per minute times however many minutes. And the number of minutes is t. So it's going to be three t. Okay. So this is an important one here. The rate times the time. In fact, you've seen that before. In fact, you've seen it very recently. 
Remember, distance equals rate times time. Uh, and we say the rate of uh, travel would be the rate, I mean, the distance, here's the rate of travel, which is comparing how far you go to how long it took you. In this problem, we're comparing how much work we get done as a rate of work times the time. And so this is how many potatoes per minute times the number of minutes. If I take potatoes per minute times minutes, notice the minutes cancel out and that gives you how many potatoes, right? So the idea of a rate times a time is going to be a very common thing. The number of potatoes Janet has peeled. Well, the same kind of reasoning applies, but we have to use how long Janet's been peeling. Well, if Butch has been peeling for t minutes, Janet has been peeling for t minus 4 minutes. So here we have to get used to the idea of using an expression to stand for a number here. All right. What is Janet's rate? She has a different rate. 5 potatoes per minute. She's peeling more efficiently. So it's 5 potatoes per minute times the number of minutes she's been peeling. Okay. The total number of potatoes that have been peeled. So if this is a number of potatoes that Butch has peeled at a certain point. So in other words, at this point, how many potatoes have been peeled? Well, the number of potatoes peeled by Butch, which is 3t, plus the number of potatoes that have been peeled by Janet, which is 5 times t minus 4. And so this is the total number of potatoes that have been peeled after Butch has been peeling for t minutes. Okay. Now, you might want to go back and review this a little bit. If you think about it, the total number of potatoes peeled must be the sum of this number and this number, which is the number of potatoes Butch has peeled and the number of potatoes Janet has peeled. But we don't have those numbers. We have expressions for those numbers. And so instead of adding this number and this number, I add this expression and this expression, which is what we have here. Okay. Okay. I've carried over the expression that we just now figured out in the last part, so we're going to have to use that again. Okay, it says write an equation stating that they have peeled a total of 36 potatoes. Well, what is this expression? This expression says how many potatoes have been peeled at a given time, t. All right? And if they've peeled 36, then we know what this expression is equal to, and so we write that down. 3t plus 5 times t minus 4 equals 36. We say we set this equal to 36, so the expression for how many potatoes at time t is set equal to the actual data that we have, the number of potatoes that we know have been peeled at that point. So we've written an equation stating that they have peeled a total of 36 potatoes. All right. Then it says, then solve the equation to find out how long Butch has been peeling when 36 potatoes have been peeled. Okay. So at this point, what is t? Well, look what we have. We have an equation. We have one unknown t. It occurs a couple different places, but we know how to handle that. This is the kind of thing we've been learning in this chapter. So let's solve for t. First step, let's use the distributive law to spread all the pieces out on the table here. So we have 3t plus 5t minus 5 times 4, which is 20, equals 36. Okay. Well, 3t and 5t are like terms. We know about adding like terms. That's 8t. And we want to get rid of the 20, so we add 20 to both sides. So 8t is equal to 36, and 20 is 56. Okay, 8 times what is 56? We'll divide both sides by 8. So t is equal to 7. All right. So what is the 7? Uh, this is how long Butch has been peeling, when 36 potatoes have been peeled. 
So the answer here is in minutes. So this is seven minutes after um, Butch started peeling. By the way, how long has Janet been peeling? Well, four minutes less. So Janet's been peeling for three minutes. Okay. How many of the 36 potatoes did each one peel? Okay, how do we answer that? So we want to find the number of potatoes each one peeled. Let's go look at the previous page. Uh, the number of potatoes that Butch peeled was 3t. Okay, so 3t is how many Butch peeled. Okay, and we now know t is 3 times 7, so we evaluate it at t equals 7, which is 21 potatoes. How many did Janet peel? Janet peeled 5 times t minus 4. 5 times t minus 4. Okay, well t we now know is 7 minutes, so 5 times 7 minus 4. Okay, well 7 minus 4 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. So, even though Butch uh, was working more slowly, he worked longer, and in fact he peeled more potatoes. These ought to add up to 36, by the way, shouldn't they? So take 21 and 15 and add them, and sure enough they come out to 36. Okay, so this is a fairly significant problem. We have uh, two people working at different rates, starting at different times, and we're able to answer questions such as how long it took them together to peel a certain number of potatoes and how many potatoes each one peeled. So it's, um, it's a good problem and I recommend you review it because this is the kind of problem that you'll be seeing in this chapter.